Hey. Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own silent switch installers. I hope you downloaded all the programs that I recommended. I'm going to be giving two examples. I'm going to be using an EXE and another example using an MSI installer. Okay. We're going to be using Nlight first. Okay. First, what you have to do is you have to find the silent switch that will install this program. So if you have C menu installed, you go to right click and you go more options installer tools identify installer it will bring you this you know it will give you a list of switches and stuff you know it's gonna take a little time but you know after a while you, you'll, you'll get used and you'll know automatically you know what switches are best to use in this case we're gonna be using very silent and if you want you can use no restart you know just ju ju just in case we're also going to be using merge tasks. This is a this is another you know this is a trick that I that I learned you know it's it, it's fun you you you'll see it's for adding desktop or quick launch icons and other other options. Okay, so now 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 that we found the switches, we know it's very silent slash very silent. If you want to test it, you can go to more options, file management, execute with parameters. This is um again C menu, and right here in the parameter you do very silent and you can test it you know so you can execute it and you can see if the program installs and you don't get any pop-ups if that works alright then we know then we know that you know we found the correct switch so what, what we're gonna do next is we're gonna we're gonna 7-zip this 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 installer we're gonna add it to a 7-zip archive so and we're gonna give it a nice name to just end light, not end light installer. So okay. Okay, so what we did was we zip the installer. As we can see, we have an end light dot seven z, and inside it we have the installer. Okay, now what we need it to do is we need it to ex when we double click it, we need it to extract itself, and we need it to run the end light installer with the slash very silent switch so so the, w the way we do that is with the silent switch maker that you that I give you down so we're gonna put it in here and here we have our inlight that 7z and you're gonna have you know these four or five files you're gonna have a s SFX file a txt a chm for reference and you're gonna have a 7zip splitter which I don't have right here right now but with that I'll show you what the 7zip splitter does but what right for right now we're gonna focus on these two files config.txt okay here this is what you sh we're supposed to have in config.txt. It's you have to make sure the encoding is UTF-8, okay? So I'll, I'll explain more about that later. But so right now, all you have to do is we're gonna add our the name of our installer right here to run program. This is what runs after it, it it's extracted, okay? So we're gonna copy the name of this and like install.exe gonna add it right here run program it's gonna run oh shit come on install.exe slash very silent slash merge task equals I'm gonna desktop icon what this switch does is it is it is it adds it you know the little checkbox let me show you this little checkbox right here except languages right here create a desktop icon what that what merge task it, it, it does is it checks that okay this merge task does, if, if you don't if by default it's checked and you don't you want to use merge task to uncheck it you will use a you, you use one of those exclamation points at the beginning I'll show you more on this later okay so and we're gonna do slash no restart okay so that's our that's our the name of our installer and here we have our switches these this is optional you don't have to do this you can you can delete that and slash no restart okay so slash very silent slash no restart okay here's a tip if your installer has a space in its file name you're gonna have to quote the installer okay you have, you're gonna have to put this in, in quotes but in order to do that 
with 7-zip in the run run in the config.txt we're gonna have to first we're gonna have to put a backslash and a quote and here we're gonna have to put another backslash and a quote these are special characters and in order to use them in, in, in the config.txt you have to use a backslash you can read more on this in the in the 7-zip 7-zip CSD SFX you know It, it gives you more details on how to uh, how to use like special characters. Let me show you, like right here, huh? Like if you're gonna if you want it to be a, a backspace, you're gonna have to use two backspaces. If you want to use a quote, you're gonna have to use a backspace then a quote. You know, I'm gonna show you more on this. You know, as we as we as we go on. So since our installer doesn't have any spaces in its file name, it's just nlight installer.exe slash very silent slash no restart. And we can use the merge tags for the desktop icon option. Also, you don't need a dot to add dot exe if it's a dot exe. You could just do nlight installer. That's another tip, you know. So okay, so we have it. We save it, and now we have our config.txt with the name of the installer and the switches that we want. Okay. So next, this is optional. You can add an, a special icon, you know. So so let's say you don't want this ugly default, you know icon we can use the one from the program executable this is the, the, the program not the installer so what we do is with restorator or rest uh, in my case I'm, I'm gonna use resource hacker I'm gonna copy this icon and I'm gonna replace it replace the ugly one okay you can also if you want you can add the version number you know so I'm, I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it here instead of this generic stuff you know 7 zip SFX generic stuff I'm gonna paste it right here we're gonna have the program information so I'm gonna, I'm gonna save this so we have a backup and this is already edited with our end light icon this is edited with our the name of our installer and the switches and what you need to do next is you open a command prompt and you CD to the location of where you have your um, your SFX your 7-zip and your config.txt and you can do that. This is manually, okay? So we're gonna do copy slash b, which indicates that we're gonna copy binary files, and we're gonna do 7zsd sfx plus config.txt plus nlate.7z. Okay, what that does is it copies all these together. And we're gonna give the final name of the all, all these merged together. Uh, let's say installer.exe. Okay. So this is the this is the final name of the file that's gonna be created by merging all three files together. Okay. So and we hit enter. One file's copied successfully. And here we have it. Installer.exe. It's got our icon that we put in 7zsd.sfx. And if we open it, we can see it's the same as our is our 7-zip file right here but what it has it has some extra stuff it has the config.txt instructions and it has the 7 sfx self extraction you know module whatever you call it you know okay so that's the manual way of doing it okay let me close this okay so that's a manual way of doing it the easy way is with this bat file that's created by crocodile chris i mean oh no it's odin 1982 sorry so what you do is after you've edited the icon and optionally in, in your config.txt what you do is you take the nlight 7-zip file the installer's 7 z file and we're gonna drag and drop it into this okay so what that does is it does the same thing as I just did manually but it will create a, a exe file with the exact same name as the 7z you just dragged and dropped into it. It will copy the 7z.sfx and config.txt and the 7z. It will merge them, okay, and it will create you your silent switch installer. As we can see, we open the archive, and here we have the 7 the nlight installer. And what's going to happen is when it when you double click this, it's going to run the nlight installer with that very silent and other switches. Okay, that's part one. I'm going to show you next is the MSI, okay?